Welcome again. So in previous tutorial, we have seen how to create um, hash password and we also uh, we also seen that uh, how to uh, declare auth component. Now in this tutorial, at first I am going to create uh, the from uh, uh, this login from. So for that, I am just uh, uh, going to login.ctp file and in here, uh, at first I am going to create a login uh, from. For that, I am using cacphp from helper. So for that, I am just uh, typing this from create so there is a method called uh, create method in from helper so after that if I just uh, finished my PHP tag and uh, after start the from I am going to uh, end the from so I'm just just typing this from end so this is the end method to end the from so we have just created from and we have just finished a from so then I'm just uh, taking uh, two input field one is the username and second one is the password field and uh, we have to create also a button so I'm just uh, copy this line and I'm just passed in here and I'm just uh, taking this uh, I'm just changing this method and this method will be a input method so I'm just uh, take the input method and I'm sending a parameter that for which this input method is so it is for username and second I'm going to same thing paste it in here and this time I'm going to change the parameter to password okay the next thing that I have to do I am going to create a button so here's the button so from and there is a method called button and the button name will be submit so after finished everything I'm going to save it and just run this script in uh, browser so you will show a field for username a field for password and here is the submit button so we have we have created a um, from for login now we have to do something uh, we have to add some code for our login method so here when the username and password will be submit this submitted submitted uh, request will be accept in this login method so here at first i'm just uh, typing this if this request is post because uh, here the from is sending the request as a post method so after the post method i've just uh, uh, declare a identify method um, in our component so this identify method actually identify the user when um, uh, and this user variable actually uh, uh, return the uh, all full information of a user uh, as an array so I'm just going to show you this how actually it's look like I'm just typing the bar dump and in this bar dump I'm just typing that user and here I'm going to exit this script now if you just uh, we just uh, reload the space and if I just type admin and 123 the password and if we submit it we can see this uh, return a array and this array actually hold the user information okay here is the admin username and here is the user email this created date uh, everything now if this identify is uh, true then the next duty of us this is uh, we have to set this data that means user information in, in our session so for session so we have to write if this user if we get this user then we have to set this in uh, session for ses for set this uh, session there has a uh, method called user set set user so I'm just copy this code from another source I'm just paste it in here so if this user this auth user this auth set user this method actually set the this user information in our session so it has been set it has been already set now if this uh, after session uh, after setting session what will be the next step the next step will be the redirect uh, the page then after login where the user will be go where the page will be go so for that I'm just uh, take a uh, this redirect method so I'm just copy and paste it in here now in this time 
in this redirect URL I'm just uh, manually I'm just uh, taking a controller and controller name is I'm just going to users and I'm just uh, mention the action name and the action I'm mention the index so after login it will be go for index base so if this user will not found then what will be the happen then the happen I'm going to give a flash message for flash message that the username and the password is error and uh, my login page is done now we need another method that's called logout method so in down I'm just going to public function logout and in curly braces we have to print this we have to send this redirect to this auth logout this is actually this logout method you can see the logout method actually destroyed the session so when we will um, redirect this as uh, auth logout then this method will be destroyed your session so now i am saving everything now i am going to run my script now here i am going to add a username my username is admin and i have a password 123 now submit now you can see it has been redirected to users table now if I just uh, um, log out my page then I'm because here is no uh, here is uh, I'm not yet added logout option so I'm just uh, manually I'm just changing my redir uh, URL redirect so I'm just uh, typing here logout and hit enter so you can say that I have in login page so if I just change this uh, uh, if I just change this uh, password or if I just uh, input wrong password then submit then you will see the invalid username or password or you can see that I have used two user uh, two uh, users in here one is uh, p2cms and another is admin so if I type now p2cms then what will be the happen because this is not the user password is uh, looking here the plain text so if I just uh, use this username and use this one two three then after submit it will be show invalid username password because it is not encrypted in catfish this password should be encrypted and second thing that i'm going to do now i'm just uh, uh, in app controller i'm just wanting to go the app controller in my project and i'm just wanted to comment out this line comment this line so after the comment if I just uh, use this add now then you can see this is not going for the add this is directly coming for login base so this is actually the very basic CAC PHP uh, uh, login from or CAC PHP using CAC PHP auth component uh, so I'm, I will try for in next tutorial to uh, speak more details about uh, this uh, page and we have to add a little bit some uh, code for for make it more standard so let's see the next tutorial to create uh, some more um, code or create some uh, uh, create this uh, tutorial more standard now it's uh, uh, this tutorial has been finished now uh, the basic logging authentication welcome for the next tutorial thank you